Good afternoon, Roman. Am I pronouncing your name correctly, Roman? Yes, you are.、Uh, nice meeting you, Sebastian. All right. Thanks for making the time to meet with me. You're one of our contributors to Google Dev Library, and my first question to you is: How would you introduce yourself in three words, or three numbers, or both, whatever you prefer? I'll do the three words. So I can describe myself as, again, as some of you have already done so as well, passionate, creative,、uh, and helpful. And I can combine those three words because one. Um, I,、uh, in order to be like a, a programmer or software engineer in this field, you gotta be creative.、Uh, of course, you need to be driven by passion and helpful because in order to、uh, excel in this industry and to even, uh, uh,、um, you know, make it in this industry, you need you need to help others because that's how you、uh, you kind of grow as a professional and also you can uh, uh, lift other people up as well. I like how you did your homework by checking out the other videos that's, that's and right, picking、exactly. the best. And picking the best answers, but make them your own. That's great. There'll be、That's、a link、right. in the description、uh, or in the playlist、uh, if you want、uh, to check out、uh, the the other videos. You YouTube、uh, visitor, obviously, I'm not talking to Roman now, who has done his homework.、Um, Roman, you are a fan of Flutter, if I'm not mistaken, and you've written a bunch of blog posts.、Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about them?、Um, there were two of those who were selected in the Google Dev Library, but you've shared with me privately just before that you've done a number of blog posts, a number of things, even on GitHub、uh, and in different languages. Do you want to talk more about this? All these aspects. Definitely, yeah. So again, first of all, thank you so much for this opportunity,、uh, Sebastian. You've been,、uh, you know, such a a great influence in the community as far as like uh, um, uh, making our voices be heard and also、uh, promoting this kind of content, great content that we've been putting for the community. So kudos to you.、Um, so again,、uh, I am I'm truly passionate about like technology in general, but I've been very uh, uh, cu- cultivated by Flutter. Flutter is this technology that allows you to develop applications with one single. Code base, and then you can target multiple multiple platforms. I've been able to create a couple of blog posts because I wanted to share the experiences that I've had developing applications in Flutter. And and the the reason why I love Flutter so much is that it allows you to paint every every、uh, allows you to paint every pixel on the screen, and then it allows you to develop applications in record time with one single code base. I'm able to target multiple、uh, multiple frameworks. And then the reason why I I created those blog posts is to actually help people to. Also,、um, uh, excel in that in that field. Also, develop applications in record time,、uh, and so that they can become productive developers as well. And they can put、uh, their applications and、uh, develop their mobile applications, web, desktop, target every framework、um, with with ease of use, and put them、um, out there for people to enjoy. So, one of your blog posts is about authentication, right? You're using Firebase authentication into a Flutter app. You want to talk about、that、this is- a little bit? That is correct. So,、um, in some of the applications、uh, that I've developed,、uh, ever since I started working in Flutter, I noticed how productive、uh, tapping into the Google technologies、uh, has been for me. Because in the past, I used to even create all these things myself. When I realized that I could,、uh, like all these,、uh, the portfolio of Google products, I was able to combine them all and create very、um, uh, great experiences for users. For example, adding authentication to my applications, so I would make them more secure and. Robust with very minimal amount of code and very little effort. That's why I said,、um, you know, people need to know about this. So let me create、uh, like a blog post、uh, detailing specifically how they do it step by step, so that they could also、uh, implement that in their applications with very minimal effort and using, of course,、uh, the Google technology. So I, I was that was a, a lot of fun that I had doing that one. And I've even gotten like messages from people like privately saying,、uh, "Thank you for this post. I was able to,、uh, you know, you saved me tons of." Time I was able to incorporate it in my application、uh, the same way that you did it. So and 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 that was really、uh, rewarding. That's very nice to hear. Is there anything that surprised you when you started using Flutter or even Firebase authentication or Google Maps, which is a topic of another of your blog posts, which has been selected on Google Dev Library? Anything that surprised you in one way or another? Something that proved harder or easier maybe than you initially thought, or more exciting or more disappointing? We're here for feedback as well. I'm gonna be honest.、Uh, I was surprised at how affordable it was. That it was free. I couldn't believe it. I was telling people. I was telling people like, "There's no catch. 
this is free. You can use Firebase and, and let's say in stand up, uh, uh, like, you know, you can um, uh, ap apply Firebase authentication for free. You can have, let's say, a Google Maps API and you can even tap into the Directions API, the, the Routes API, and all those uh, great Google products completely for free without even spending a dime. And people were like, no. And that's one of the misconceptions. That's one of the misconceptions that people have. Like, if, if you want to implement like these robust features in your applications, you actually have to bring the bank. In this case, all the applications that I've uh, been able to develop uh, where, I, where I've integrated Google Maps, Firebase Authentication, uh, Cloud Firestore, uh, uh, Google Cloud Functions, all of those I have not paid a cent and that has made me a very productive developer, has allowed me to develop applications to put them, uh, let's say, in front of people in a fraction of the time, you know, using other cloud uh, uh, solutions or even other products. And that's what I like truly amazed me. And I'm like, I think I'm, st I think I'm still gonna spend uh, like a wait for a bill to come, but still hasn't come. And I know that is not gonna come because uh, th that's the reason why I picked this, uh, this platform because it allows me to create uh, applications completely free, I would say. So th that was one of the things that, that truly uh, surprised me. The, the the challenges that I've had is actually in trying to develop those uh, develop those things myself. For example, I try to roll out my own uh, authentication mechanism. I was uh, I was even standing up my own let's say infrastructure, like uh, standing up a RESTful API or creating like my own database and and creating the own backend and then managing all those solutions myself. Instead. I, re I uh, relied on the Google Cloud platform so I can, let's say, do uh, 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 stand up a quick RESTful API using Google Cloud Functions. Like you mentioned, doing Firebase authentication for authenticating my users, using like Google Cloud Firestore to, to do like real-time communication in my applications in a fraction of the time. And I was able to put great quality applications, combining all these great features into one single application, of course, even using Flutter. Um, and, and the result was amazing. And again, still haven't paid anything. So that, that's why I'm like, I'm so amazed by that. Uh, I want to go into two different directions. But before that, um, I'm glad that you are trying to dispel the misconception. If I'm not mistaken, though, uh, most of the APIs are free up to a certain limit. Uh, up to a certain limit, so of there is a quota, but it's true. I mean, I'm also I. You've heard me say it before, and I told you also just before this recording. I also code on the side. Not a great coder, but I love to try new things, and it's indeed plenty enough to try for free. So by all means, anyone should oh, give it a shot. Yes, of course. And, and let me, yeah, let me rectify that aspect. Ex ex exactly. Let's say if your application goes viral, of course, you're going to reach, uh, let's say, the, the, the free limit or the free quota, and, and you're still not going to pay that much, but at least it allows you to, uh, let's say, put something in front of users. It allows you to create, uh, you know, a minimum viable product that would allow you to, uh, then, for example, let's say, if your application continues growing, then your, uh, uh, the system, you don't even have to do anything because it will scale automatically. Then that's when, then you would incur it into a charge. But still, like I said, for all like the majority of the cases, the base cases for small applications uh, is a, a very minimal investment that you would have to do. That is almost free, like I would say. But again, initially, yeah. So that's a, a great thing to to mention. So th thank you very much for that uh, clarification. The if your application goes viral, uh, you ro your application, Roman, or anyone who's listening and watching this YouTube video. By all means, reach out to me. I'm willing to invest privately. If it's going viral, <laughs> we'll pay the me bills. Too, me too. <laughs> you too. Me okay. 50-50. <laughs> or 60-40. One way or another. We'll I'll see. I'll support you. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, I said I wanted to go into two, two directions. One is, you mentioned this misconception that people think you know they have to pay even to get started. Um, is there any other maybe worst piece of advice you've heard in the tech industry or as you started coding or that you've heard recently? The worst piece of advice and if you don't find anything, what's the best piece of advice uh, you've heard recently? One worst piece of advice that I've received is that you could do everything yourself with no help. Uh, you know that the saying goes like, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. So you always rely on the community. You rely on your on your peers. So yes, you could do something like, let's say yourself, but you know that you're going to be constrained by either knowledge, time, uh, efforts. And that's great. That's why it's great to like bring the community or, or bring, uh, you know, people that you shared like the same, uh, let's say, common goals and, and, and even uh, passionate about the same technology. And you can find people that you 
can uh, collaborate and um, and grow together and learn together at the same time. So a misconception is like, yeah, you can do it by yourself. You don't need any help. That's 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 bad. You need help. You uh, and and it's, uh, there's no harm in in reaching out and looking for help and also being that constant, uh, l- um, let's say, learning path and journey. So because it makes you grow not only as a developer but as a person as well. One of the best pieces of advice that I've uh, uh, that I've received is actually to um, uh, you know build in order to learn like the the way that I uh, portray myself is like you know a person who loves to share and you know that uh, you know when you te- when you teach you actually learn twice so that's uh, the best advice that I give people is to share and also uh, to build so that you can continue learning you and another thing that I wanted to add is that uh, something very important that I don't want people to forget is to have fun along the way if you're not having fun while you're doing what you're doing uh, there, there's no there's not much farther that you can go. So I love to have fun uh, even in the projects that I get involved in uh, because I feel like I'm invested and then I have that uh, you know motivation that allows me to either complete a project and to go further. Uh, and th- that's why I love to, uh, again, I'm really passionate about, about technology as a whole. And that's why uh, every project that I'm involved in is something that I have like a stake in, that I have fun doing, and that you know I don't mind spending uh, endless, endless hours like working on that. So I, that's why I I definitely like like to have a lot of fun when I'm uh, working on projects. And you, stuff. you do sound like you're having a lot of fun uh, playing with technology. The way you oh, come across yeah. and the way you talk about it. Um, the second thing I wanted to ask, based on what you said earlier, is: Is there anything about Google's technologies that excites you to play with that you haven't played with yet, but you're looking forward to maybe in the past, in the next few weeks or months, or something you've heard about? Is there anything like that that is making you excited or that you want to explore more in depth? One thing that I wanted to mention was that, uh, again, like I was very uh, focused on like my, my core, my core uh, competencies are like mobile development and web development. But then I was fascinated by, again, how, how Google implemented cloud. And Sebastian, to be honest with you, I was really intrigued. And then I said, OK, so in order to uh, complement the current skills that I have on mobile and web, I would need to get some knowledge, let's say, on cloud technology, so that I can also, uh, you know, complement those those things, like you know, uh, developing applications, so that they can have like a you know a proper uh, infrastructure in the back end. So just by pursuing that, I recently became a uh, profession. I got the certification, the Google Cloud certification, as a cloud uh, architect. So I, I did that just because I wanted to learn about more about Kubernetes or uh, more about like cloud in general. And then I got the certification. Now I, I feel like I am more competent uh, as, as far as like cloud technologies. So I can uh, complement my, my existing knowledge in, in web and Flutter. And then I can develop better applications and, w- and more better architected. Also gave me like a more um, like a holistic picture on when I'm developing solutions. But also some of the things that I'm really excited about are of course like machine learning artificial intelligence I'm also dabbling into that and then I the the fact is that everything is there within Google uh, and so at your reach that you're able to uh, again so many resources just like uh, like the dev library and other resources within Google that I can just immediately uh, uh, like reach for and grab it and, and immediately get knowledge without again like I said breaking the bank or or spending too much effort and and that's what I love. Um, I, I'm also I, I, I've even pursued other things outside of uh, let's say the realm of uh, let's say coding and programming. Uh, I also like for example like augmented reality, like uh, uh, game development. I also see like some of the platforms like in Google as far as like uh, uh, like game development and whatnot and game platforms. So th- those are things that I also like look into, uh, but I'm really excited about that I could also explore. But you know, we also have, uh, you know, so much time during the day that you want to do so many things. Uh, but again, uh, what I have right now and what I've learned so far, I'm so grateful for. And, and again, I'm in that constant uh, hunger to learn more and to gain more knowledge. But the best thing, once I acquire that knowledge, I feel that need and that sense of duty to share it with the community. So that's exactly why we're here. Well done on your certification and thanks for sharing Thank with you. the community. You. Um, you mentioned Thank game you. development. Are you a gamer yourself? Also on the consumer? I'm a, ga- yeah. 
I, I'm, a, I'm a gamer, uh, I'm not like too avid. I'm more like, I, I've already developed a couple applications like augmented reality games. Uh, I have them on the uh, Google App Store and, 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 and the Google Play. And I love to develop like those small casual games, but I would love to maybe even uh, push the boundary and do something more advanced. Uh, so I'm more of a, a, instead of the consumer, I'm more of the producer. So I like to, again, like develop games so that other people uh, can, can play and stuff. And that also, again, uh, uh, not only pushes the boundaries of what I can do uh, because it, it takes me out of my comfort zone, but still I can combine creativity. I can combine, um, uh, again, the, the, my coding skills, my engineering skills so that I can bring some of those aspects together and then create great experiences for people. Roman, time flies. We're reaching the end of our interview. Uh, any final words you would have for developers out there in North America or anywhere else that you would have for them? Definitely. So my advice to you, uh, for those of you who are, let's say, starting uh, in your, uh, let's say, your career, your uh, developer journey, I would say build. I have actually three words. Build, build, build. The best way for you to learn is to actually exercise your muscle, like the coding muscle. So uh, in, in you, you can build your portfolio. You can just build projects. That's the best way to learn. Of course, you can watch videos. You can uh, read blog posts. But the best way to learn is to put those things into practice. Because that way, uh, you know, you uh, not only you exercise and you put into practice the things that you've learned, but also you you uh, in the same process you actually build a portfolio. You. you put things out there that people are delighted. Uh, you also make even human connections. I, I have this mantra that I say, you know, technology uh, is a means to an end, but at the end, uh, it, it, the end is actually making human connections. I love interacting with people. I love engaging with people. And even if I can build stuff together with them, not only brings us together as a community, but also makes us uh, better professionals, better developers, uh, and, and better people as a whole. So for you who is starting or who is who who, who are in your in your current journey. Just continue building. That's the best way to not only build up your your portfolio, uh, but also increase your uh, uh, you know elevate yourself, elevate others, and and gain more knowledge uh, along the process. Excellent. Thank you for your words of wisdom, Roman, and thank you for this interview. Great. No problem. Thank you so much.